Hi Tubes, got something a little different here today. Uh, it's going to be tough to show you this whole thing because it's so tall and I'm so close I can't get that far back. But anyway, it's, a, it's an old fire extinguisher. Looks to be a stainless steel. And uh, it's been uh, kicking around here for about five or six years. I picked it up uh, a while ago and uh, I was going to use it as a, a water tank for a hit and miss engine and uh, instead I used a, a milk milk can instead but uh, like I say it's been been kicking around here for about five or six years and uh, I was thinking of making it into a, a lamp and uh, I think it'll look pretty good I think it'll clean up pretty cool this here there isn't a dent in this whole thing and uh, this looks to be like chrome but uh, it's actually stainless steel and uh, I don't even know if they use these anymore. Maybe some firemen can uh, leave some comments and let us know if they even use them. It's, a, it's an old kid. Kid, kitty. I don't know. But anyway, uh, when I was younger, you know, in, in schools and hospitals and stuff like that, they would have a little uh, section in a wall. And they would uh, have these in there. And uh, they, they're filled with water. And then if there's a fire, you take them and you turn them upside down and, and smash them into the ground. And it would uh, fill with uh, some kind of gas, I don't know, CO2 or something. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's probably old technology. This here looks like it might be brass and the hose is in good shape too. Looks like it has a little uh, hook back here. If you're a fireman uh, with a strap on there, you carry it. But here's something pretty cool. Actually has an inspection tag on it. Let me see. It says, uh, wow. The first time it was inspected, well I don't know about first time, but first time on this tag is 1976. And then the last time it was inspected was uh, 1979. So, let me, uh, let me throw you up on a tripod there and uh, We'll take a better look at it. Like I say, I can't, I, I can't stand back too far to show you, but uh, we'll make the best of this. All right. Yeah, these things really aren't worth anything. I think I, think I paid ten bucks for this thing. But uh, the, the the copper ones are brass. Whatever the hell the other ones are made out of, I think the copper. Uh, they're collector's items, but but these here, <clears throat> these aren't these aren't worth worth anything. Okay. Huh. Looks like it's made of brass or something. Look at that. Alright. And then here's this little chamber I was telling you about. Wow. This thing's pretty heavy. See this thing? When you when, when you take the, the thing and you... You know what? I think this actually might still be uh, loaded. I might be holding a bomb here. It feels like it weighs about five pounds, but anyway. What would happen is you, you turn this whole thing upside down and then this this would go sliding down and there's like a little peg here and that will puncture that uh, almost feels like wax but there's got to be some kind of metal behind that but anyway it would puncture that and it would fill your tank up here with uh, gas and pressurize it so let me put my glass on see what this thing says Is uh, waste cylinder annually. If a half ounce less than the weight on the valve, replace the cylinder. So I don't know if you can see this. I think it's be a good time to get you guys off of there. Come on, get get off of there. Get, come on down. Okay. Here's what it says. If this thing focuses in, you can see what it uh, what it actually says. Here we go. And then, if you look on the side here, I don't mean to fumble around here, but uh, I only got one hand. Here we go. Looks like it says 40.15 ounces. Okay. I said it weighs about 5 pounds, but. Uh, 40 ounces. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, that's, that's as uh, if it weighs a half half an ounce less than that. You know what? I got, I got a scale. Let me get let me go get the scale. All right, got the scale out here. This this uh, scale's pretty accurate, so uh, let's put this on here. Let's see what it says. All right, it's uh, three pounds two ounces. All right, is that about forty? Eight, nine, about about fifty ounces. That is right. Let me see. Actually, has it on here. Oh, that's a one off. Come on. All right. All right. I think you got a button on the side here. All right. All right. That's ounces there. That's pretty close, huh? 50 ounces. Alright, so this thing actually says if it's a half ounce less than what's on the thing here. So I actually, I think this thing might be full. And like I said, it's not punctured or anything. So we're holding the bomb here. Alright, let me get the little thing up here and we'll take a better look at it. Alright. Before I uh, start making this into a lamp, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean it and see uh, how nice I can get this. Because it's actually going to be in the house and I want it to look good. And I, want, I don't want to touch the lettering because the, the blue here actually a nice patina. And I don't want to wear that off. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try some uh, 000, zero steel wool or something. Some real fine stuff. Or maybe I'll pick up some... Uh, Auto body detailer clay, a bar of detailer's clay, and see what that does. But anyway, here's what I got. I, uh, I picked up a, a piece of pipe here. It's, uh, I think that's eight eighth inch pipe, and uh, I got me a light bulb here. All right, this here, this piece of pipe is only five hours, and this bulb was on sale. It's a door sale too. Hundred watt bulb, LED. That was on sale for two bucks. And then this was the most expensive thing. This was $10, but it's everything I need. It's a three-way. I didn't want a three-way, but uh, it'll still work on this. You just have to click it more more times or so. But uh, it'll work. Anyway, this was 10 bucks. So uh, I got 10 bucks into this. 10 bucks into this, that's 20. And this was five, 25, $27. So by the time I get done, 20, well, with the lampshade, and that's probably going to cost a fortune. But anyway, we're going to have uh, $27 in there, and we have something cool to throw in the house there. So let me start cleaning it and uh, see how it comes out. All right, here's where we're at. I use this uh, 4-0, super fine steel wool, and it actually worked pretty good. It don't look like it's scratching the stainless or anything like that. But then uh, I have some paint spots here, like right here, and I tried some acetone. I figured acetone would work better, but uh, I tried lacquer thinner and acetone. Actually, lacquer thinner works better. It takes a little bit of rubbing, a little bit of elbow grease, but uh, it's coming off. I don't know what kind of paint it is, but it might be epoxy. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, and then this little section up here. I just rubbed down with uh, lacquer thinner to get rid of some of the overspray, and that seems to work. So, I think what I might do is wipe this whole thing down with lacquer thinner, and then uh, it'll make it easier for me when I when I polish it up with the steel wool. No sense in buying a, a clay bar. A clay bar costs about twenty bucks, and this this should be fine. So, all right, let me sit down. It's going to take me a while. So, let me let me get to cleaning. All right. I spent about two hours on this, uh, rubbing it out with uh, steel wool. The the little paint paint spots uh, gave me the, the toughest problems. You know, I spent some crazy 15, 20 minutes on some spots, but uh, and then I had to do in between all these little letters and stuff. But uh, overall, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. I'm, I'm happy with it. I even cleaned the hose. But what I'm going to do now is, uh, like I said, I think this is this is brass. It looks uh, it's brass inside here. 
And I think maybe I'll, I'll hit that on a wire wheel, see if I can get that uh, brown paint off. I'm, I'm even going to clean this up a little bit. I like the tag. The tag tag's going to give it a little character. Plus a little bit of history there, so. Alright. I don't know how long this uh, video is. If it's not that long, I'll add some to it. And if it isn't, uh, we'll, call it, uh, we'll call it a day. Alright. Enough of this.